My name is Dr. Katia Rhodes. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Public Administration at the University of Victoria. I study climate policy design to help countries and their regions re reduce emissions and meet climate targets. And uh, specifically, I studied two aspects of climate policy. First, what makes policies effective in reducing emissions? For that, I use energy economy models to understand the impacts of policies on emissions, economy, jobs. And second, what makes policies politically acceptable and therefore long-lasting? Industry represents 40% of our emissions, and it is now the most politically challenging sector to reduce emissions in. Um, so I believe in collaborations. Um, I, I strongly think it's not us against them. Um, we need to work together in order to come up with technology solutions. And specifically, I'm interested in the link between policy and technology implementation. So for example, in British Columbia, we have a low carbon fuel standard. And in Canada, we have a clean fuel standard uh, that requires reducing average carbon intensities in transportation fuels, meaning that we need to have more biofuels in our transportation fuel mix. And for that, we need to have biofuel markets. And that's what I'm interested in. Um, at the center, we are trying to fund innovators who are bringing in these markets to, locally to British Columbia and to Canada. And I think um, that's really important to work together, share knowledge and innovate together. Specifically, I work with engineers to develop energy economy models that help us project impacts of climate policies on emissions, recognizing the limitations of our energy systems. I also work with economists to understand uh, how policies can uh, reduce emissions at low to moderate cost to society using uh, different market flexibility features of policies. I also work with psychologists um, as part of my work Inside Development Grant, we've recently uh, looked into why and how people support or oppose low carbon heating technologies like heat pumps. And for that, we look into um, psychological theories, work with sociologists to understand impacts um, of societal thinking, uh, norms on uh, that kind of behavior. And finally, I work with governments and political scientists um, to understand how we can continue growing our economies while reducing emissions and what we can learn from other jurisdictions in the world uh, in terms of climate policy successes and apply those lessons here in British Columbia and Canada. We need uh, to work together and empower each other. We uh, produce and consume things in a way that um, affects many different people, species, and the planet's health. In a similar way, we need to be able to work together, uh, innovate together to reduce our impact on the planet and other people. And I'm privileged to do so by sharing knowledge with students and peers at the University of Victoria. I strongly believe that students and my peers um, empower me in uh, conducting research in the public interest. Now more than ever, students are uh, eager uh, to resolve the issue of climate change and um, they're very desperate. So I feel very, very privileged and, uh, to work with my students. I'm very grateful for being considered for this award and for being selected as a successful award recipient. Thank you very much. And so I really appreciate this opportunity to sit back, relax, and enjoy um, the process of being uh, a recipient of this award.